Windsor, they're ready for you on the set. <laughs> Let's try a rehearsal. Now, no rehearsal. Just, just shoot. Just wonderful, simply magnificent. Now we do it again, eh? This time a little more magnificent, yeah? Again? Do what again? I'm just standing here with egg on my face. My lord, what can we do? It's history. So, it's history. But I need a few lines, something to stretch it a bit. Darling, you have already stretched history so far in this picture. One more tug and it will snap like a rubber band. Everybody ready? Misha. If I have to do this once more, I'll have you deported back to Siberia. Helsinki, my darling, Helsinki. Remember, basically, I'm a Finn. Okay. Go to Helsinki. I'm going to lunch. <laughs> lunch. Oh, Dr. John, thank goodness. Did you bring the throat spray? Yes, I did, Vanessa. I screamed all day yesterday. Hanged, you know. Yeah. Took everything out of me. <clears throat> Yes, Michelle? Your daughter called. The housekeeper called. Miss Parsons wants to know who your escort will be at the premiere. I wish to heck I knew. And the Society for the Preservation of National Monuments wants to use your photograph. What? What do they think I am? Mount Rushmore? Certainly not. Misha! Will you order lunch, please? I better make peace. Misha! Come on, you better let me have a look at you. 
think there's What about you, Polly? Are you going to be all right? What's happened? Nothing. Nothing's happened. But you might have blood poisoning. Well, you better have that looked at. What's your name? It's okay. I'm all right. Don't... His name's Chris Farley. Go on with it. Don't be so dumb. Sure, maybe you'll get a couple of lines out of it. Come on. We'll get it fixed up. <laughs> Would you clear the dressing room, please? I'll call the production office. Doctor, can you look at the young man, or do you want him to go to the dispensary? Vanessa? Of course. Bring him in. Mr. Farley? This is Chris Farley, Miss Windsor. Hello. Well, thank you for helping me. I thought, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I hope you weren't hurt. No, just a little shaken, that's all. Miss Windsor, if you're not too upset, I was thinking, uh... No, I'm all right. What... what were you thinking? We might be able to get some good news breaks on this story. Maybe even make the afternoon deadlines. Now, I could get a photographer in here and... Oh, pictures, of course. What did you say your name was? Chris. Chris Farley. Well, um... I don't mind. That is, if uh, Chris doesn't mind. Vanessa Windsor saved from death by extra. Windsor in near fatal accident. For heaven's sake. Hello? Who? Farley? Oh, Chris Farley. Who's calling? We only take business calls here, lady. Miss Windsor? Well, he's not home yet, Miss Windsor. He Vanessa Windsor? Oh, I was just reading about you in the paper. Oh, it's so exciting. Just imagine talking to you on the phone. Uh, you wouldn't remember, Miss Windsor, but, uh, but I had a line with you once in, in Perils of Peggy. Yes. <laughs> Mabel, I'm talking to Vanessa Windsor. Uh, wait a minute, Miss Windsor. Maybe that's him now. I just heard a call. Hold on. He just drove up, Miss Windsor. I'll get him for you. You, Chris. Vanessa Windsor, on the phone for you. Have you seen the paper? You're all over it, the two of you. Um, hello? Hello. This is Vanessa Windsor. Remember me? Well, uh, sure. I, I, uh... How's your arm? Oh, fine. Good as new. New enough to take me out tomorrow night? Uh, beg pardon? Uh, there's a big charity premiere, and since I have no escort, I thought you might be free. You know, if you rescue me once more, I'll be in your debt for life. Well, gee, I, I'd sure like to, Miss Windsor, but it's sort of a dress-up affair, isn't it? Uh -huh. <coughs> what? Nothing. I'm just having a massage. But just black tie. Yeah, well, um, you see, I, I don't have a dinner jacket. Studio will take care of it. It's all publicity. Just come on the lot in the morning and ask for man in the wardrobe. Anything you say. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Bye. What'd she say? She... She wants me to go with her to the premiere tomorrow night. A premiere? With Vanessa Windsor? Mabel, did you hear that? Yep. You'd make a good masseur, that boy. Muscles. That's what you need in this business. Shoulders? And muscles. Mr. Johnson's car. Miss Vanessa Windsor's car. Miss Windsor, please sign this. 
Oh, thank Miss you. Miss Windsor, please, please. Jeannie! Jeannie, I got it! You got it, Please, Miss Windsor, sign this, please. No, I'm sorry, that's all. If I sign any more, I'll be here all night. Oh, just one more. Oh, just one, more. please. Oh, will you go now? Like it? It was, uh, confusing. Oh, a picture or the evening? <laughs> the evening. Oh. Does anyone ever look at the picture? <laughs> Sometimes, not often. Too busy looking at each other. Yeah. I, for one, was looking at you. Me? Why? Well, you look very handsome in your dinner jacket. Do you have to go home or something? Is someone waiting for you? Oh, no, no. Oh, well, that's wonderful. We'll drive to the beach. I know a lovely little place there. Barnes, would you stop at the Belair Hotel and uh, take a cab home? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you don't mind driving, do you? It'll be so much nicer. <laughs> no, of course not. Help me undress. What? Diamonds may be a girl's best friend, but they get heavy as lead after a couple of hours. It looks like it's closed. It is. But uh, I know the manager. What is it, a private club? Oh, yes, it's private and very exclusive. Hmm? Oh, watch your step. Welcome to Windsor Castle. To where? My own private little club. How do you like it? It's really something. Well, it's small, but my own. Members only, of course. Of course. How does, uh, how does one get elected to the club? Well, uh, you've been elected. Oh. Well, uh... Is there an initiation ceremony? Yes, but later. Huh? Oh, what will you have to drink? Oh, I had something great the other day, a French 75. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Uh, what, what do you need? Brandy, champagne, a little gin. Oh, you'll make it, huh? OK. Aquavit, champagne, gin, brandy. Does this uh, really work? Naturally. Anything else? We'll have um, French 75s and um, we'll have music. And um, we'll have fire, huh? Indispensable ingredients when you're dreaming of something wonderful. It's kind of silly to have a fire on such a warm night, but uh, it'll be nice when we come back from our swim. Isn't it um, a little late for that kind of thing? Yeah. But the, the water is divine, very bracing. You can change in there. You'll, you'll find everything you need. Right now? 
Why not? I had such a hard time getting these things in, I don't know whether I could get them out. Studs? Yeah. Pull me. It's quite simple, you see. I'm sorry. Are we beginning the initiation? Not, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny? What's funny? Across hundreds of sound stages, thousands of times, and all of a sudden you cross one particular one, one particular moment, and you meet a stranger. Your whole life changes. Your phone's ringing. Oh, it's just the seagulls. That one must be in the front room. They're very friendly. They go everywhere. Maybe this isn't one of the friendly ones, huh? Oh, all right. <laughs> so you're not romantic. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with Penny? Well, I don't know. I called the doctor's service, but he hasn't called back. I'll be there right away. Yes, madam. What's the matter? Uh, it's, um, it's my daughter. She's ill. I have to go home right away. I'll get dressed. Well, I'm sorry I spoiled your evening. What do you mean, spoiled my evening? This has been the most wonderful evening I've ever had. Can you... Can you get me to Bel Air in in a hurry? Faster than that. Oh no, you keep the car. And bring it back tomorrow. Well. We'll have lunch. Oh, well, I can take a cab. At this time of night? Silly. Besides, I want an excuse to see you again. Oh, Miss Winter. Is the doctor here? Not yet, madam. Oh, well, how is she? She won't let me do a thing for her. She didn't want me to call the doctor. I just heard her being sick about 25 minutes ago. Oh, well. Penny. Penny. Oh, leave me alone. It's all right, Hilda. We won't need a doctor. Just coffee. Hot coffee. Hot coffee? Yes, she's not going to die. She just thinks she is. She's drunk. You went out tonight. I went out tonight. I've told you before. If you must drink, don't make a spectacle of yourself. Spectacle. 
Who are you to tell me what to do? Your mother. And responsible for you. <laughs> oh, that's a laugh. I don't find it very amusing. My mother. What did you ever do to earn that title? Except pay a few bills. Don't you ever say that again. You only adopted me to fill out the cast. Everybody in Hollywood knows that. Even me. Vanessa Windsor, the perfect star, becomes a perfect mother. <laughs> well, I'm tired of giving a performance. You understand that? I don't care how tired you are. Mm. You're not going to be this tired again. As long as you're in this house, you're going to behave like a lady and not like some little tramp. Tramp? Oh, you're full of funnies tonight. Tramp from you? The great lady, the great star, rolled in every gutter and... <laughs> No, I, I, I didn't mean that. Oh, God. Only, I'm sorry. I, I just wanted you to have the chance in life I never had. I had to do it the hard way. What makes you think being your daughter is the easy way? <laughs> oh, go away. Hang on. <laughs> TV. Hasn't your mother taught you not to say that naughty word? Huh? Well, here's a quarter. Before you spend it on wild living, can you tell me where Mr. Farley lives? Oh, Chris, right here. Hey, Chris, there's a dame to see ya. Hey. Lady. Lady. Now, I can do this myself. So it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. decided I couldn't wait to see you, so I didn't. Would I compromise you if I come in? Oh, no, of course not. Come on in. I, I'm sorry the place is in such a mess, but well, I, I didn't expect company. I wouldn't have liked to have seen any. <laughs> uh, give me a minute to clean up, huh? Incredible. I used to live in a place just like this. You? Yeah, that is, when I could afford the rent. <laughs> I don't believe it. It's true. Bungalow courts to Beverly Hills to Bel Air. That uh, place of yours at the beach, that's the greatest. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Chris, would you... Would you like to live there? Damn. Is that an answer or an opinion? <laughs> Neither. I just nicked myself. Oh. I mean, you see, I have nobody to take care of it now. The last caretaker drank, and the one before was drafted, and so I thought maybe you like the job. The, the pay isn't much, but there would be no rent, and and you do like the beach, don't you? Sure, but... But what? Oh, well, you'll get time off if you get a call from the studio. I couldn't do that. 
Why not? Well, you know why not. Well, no, I don't. But I mean, I, I've never... I, I don't know how I'd do. Oh, you'll do fine. Just fine. Turning this town inside out trying to find you. Where have you been keeping yourself? Or is somebody keeping you? Uh, Maloney, uh, another beer here, huh? I finally got your phone number from that old bag where you used to live. Now there's a character. Irma, yeah, she sure is. Uh, what's the big emergency? Emergency? Opportunity. Got a deal for you, buddy. A picture. A picture for me? Yeah. You ever been to Mexico? Oh, no. Great. Tortilla, tequilas, and the turistas. <laughs> You'll love it. Who's producing this little epic? Old Hank Galvez. Yeah, I got a little independent deal down there. Of course, I'm still short a few bucks, but I'll get them. And you're gonna play the lead, muchacho. Lead? I never even had the lead in a high school play. Who are you kidding? Chris, I've got faith in you. You know that. Besides, you've come cheap. Look, it's an exploitation picture, see? The big sequence is a fight to the death between you and a giant man-eating orchid. There won't be a florist in this country that won't carry a big blow-up picture of you, the dame, with your clothes half torn off in orchids up to your navel. Well, there's got to be a catch. What is it? Amigo, all you got to do is cooperate a few weeks till we get the film in the can and sell it. Oh, yeah, no salary. Hmm? Well, eating money. But what's dough compared to the opportunity of a lifetime? Look, read the script. Practically no dialogue at all. Sort of a Robinson Crusoe type thing. I've got to go on location till Saturday. When I get back, we'll get together, all right? Okay. Stick with me, buddy, and you'll wear diamonds. It says here, anyway. <laughs> So long, eh? See you later, Chris. Yes, sir. A bourbon and water. And a screwdriver. Oh, uh, throw a couple of shots of vodka in it, huh? Sorry, sir, but the young lady can't have any screwdriver. Never any double shot of vodka. Why not? Because I don't allow people to get drunk in my place, particularly young girls. Look, brother, when I come into a bar and order a drink, I expect to get it. Yes, sir, and you're gonna get it. Mm. But not the young lady. She's had enough. It's a good way for a saloon keeper to lose his license. Okay, okay, forget the bourbon, then. Just give me the screwdriver. Oh, no. You're a bourbon drinker. You've had three already. You wouldn't want to switch to vodka. It wouldn't be good for you. Well, don't give me that stuff, Grandpa. There's a lot of places I can be served, you know. Yes, sir. And you go to them places. But you don't get no double screwdriver here. I know a better place. Come on. Checking out? Yeah, you know, early to bed. I never heard a greater fallacy in my life. You know that I'm the wisest man in the world, and I never got to bed before 4.30 a.m. in 35 years. <laughs> Good night, Maloney. Good night, hey, young Hey, Maloney. Father. Yes, sir. Get your hands off me, piggy. Oh, honey, you don't really mean that. I'm not going to go with you. Let me alone. <laughs> <laughs> you see, if you'd have stayed in the car, this wouldn't have happened. Now look what you spent on me. Take your paws off me. I can Enough of this myself. nonsense. You're getting back into I'm the car gonna... right now. Hey, can you help me with this character? Yeah, He's hey, look, uh, stay I'm out of this. Me. This is none of your You're business, my chum. Shoes and everything. Let's go. I'm not going oh, with look, you. Wait a minute. My dress is all a mess. Hey, you're all right. Yeah, huh? I'm fine. Look out behind you! Close. Good. It's 
just where you should be. That's a pretty good left you got there. Sorry I had to do that, but... Oh, don't worry your heart about Piggy. He's been unconscious for years. You'll never know the difference. Say, um, how much of a Galahad are you prepared to be tonight? How much of a Galahad are you looking for? Oh, one with a car, maybe, or a, or a convenient washroom. I'm all dirty. I can't go home like this. Yeah, well, I, uh... Well, don't strain your hospitality. What I meant is, I don't have a car here, but I, I do live down the road about a hundred yards. You think you can walk it? Listen, to get away from that octopus, I could, I could walk from here to Philadelphia and back. Maybe even farther. Shall we go? One more thing. I don't exactly fancy stepping from the frying pan into the fire, if you know what I mean. So, if you have any ideas, I, um... Honey, I don't have any ideas at all. Okay? That wasn't very nice of me. I, I'm sorry. But this has just been one of those days. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh. Shall we go? There you go. Thank you. <clears throat> wow. Oh, this is very nice. Did you inherit your money, or did you make it yourself? I just take care of the place. Oh, you mean I have to meet the family? We're alone. Oh, goody. Goody, goody for... Oh, oh, that pee. Ooh. He poured some vodka down me in the car, and I, I think that he made it himself from some old potatoes or something. I'm just not with it at all. Well, let's see what we can do about the dress, okay? Hmm? Uh, I am mess. Uh, you know, I think that maybe I'd, I'd just better collapse. Yeah, I'll tell you what. We'll get you all cleaned up. I'll call a cab and you can collapse at home. Okay. okay. Right. You're right. You're right as the rain. That's what you are. You're just right. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Well, you can't clean it with me in it, can you? Thanks, stuck right here. Can't seem to... Can you get up? Mm -hmm. I can't see back here. Yeah. yeah. Get up. Mm -hmm. Well, pull it. Haven't you ever done a zipper before? Okay, honey. There you go. Uh, oh. Oh, my. Mm. You know, you know, I just think that maybe you better do most of this yourself, because after all that jazz, and our hundred yard dash. I'm exhausted. Hey, you can't pass out here. That's a challenge. I accept. Okay, honey. Oh! Oh, let me have 40 winks. Not even 20. Oh, are you taking me? I want to go bed, Bye. Yeah, but you're going to go bed, Bye, at home after you have a little. Hydrotherapy. Hydro what? I don't like those strange drinks. <laughs> Here we go. Oops, a day. Oh, Take it thinking? easy. Oh, you'll Any like egg. this. This will be fun for you. Honey. There, ah. there we go. Yeah. Uh, come on. No, no, no. Not Here we go. There we go. Kill me things so I can put them in the dryer. I wouldn't do anything for you. Not for me. I just don't want you to get double pneumonia, that's all. I'll get it if I like. You won't like. Now take off that slip and whatever else you've got underneath it or I'll take them off you myself. You would. Say, how old are you anyway? I'm old enough. 
But for some things, maybe. But not for bars and wise characters like that boyfriend of yours. No, not my boyfriend. He just drove me down from San Francisco. You, you mean he's a stranger? No. No, not exactly. I go to... I mean, I went to school with his sister until I got expelled today. Well, turn your back. Oh, Piggy and Peggy. Boy, fair drips of the first water. But I was broke, and he was the best transportation I could manage. You mean your family don't know about this? Oh, heaven forbid. I just hope I get home before the storm breaks. You know, everything happens to me. I wouldn't be a bit surprised that your employer walked in here any minute. That's typical of what happens to me. Uh, yeah, well, in that case, honey, I, I better get started on that dress. Come on, uh, are you decent? Just a minute. I'm sorry, I've been such a witch. You've really been very sweet. You did the same thing for me. But I don't have your left hook. Yeah, well, honey, you don't need it. <laughs> kind of nice. I've called the cab. Oh, thanks. Galahad. Yeah? The someone for whom you work is a woman, isn't she? How did you know? A little bird. You know, I like it here. I've always wanted to have a friend at the beach. It's so convenient. Convenient for what? Oh, swim. Walks along the beach. Lena Rose. Little chats in front of the fire. I told you, uh, I don't own this place. I just look after it. Who looks after you? I don't need anybody to look after me. Then the position is open and applications being accepted? There's nothing to apply for. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that at all. Excuse me. Cab's here. You know, you've really been very sweet. And I think you deserve a proper thank you. That'll have to do for now. Oh, but keep my account open. Thanks for the shower. We must do it again sometime. Sign here, please. Uh, I didn't order anything. Christopher Farley, 12247 Pacific Boulevard, Malibu. That's you, isn't it? That's right. Charge to Vanessa Windsor. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. the shop to send them out today. You are pleased, aren't you? I mean, you like them. Look, Vanessa, there are six suits here. Only six? Well, they must have forgotten the one for, for Sunday. What kind of a guy do you think I am, taking fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars worth of clothes from a woman? <laughs> I'm hardly what you call a woman. I'm me, and you're you, and what does the price matter? It matters to me a lot. But, Chris, I'm only trying to help. You know how important it is for an actor to make an impression. 
You can't get anywhere looking like a tramp. If I took them, I'd be a tramp. They're going right back to that store. Oh, now, Chris, don't do anything rash. Well, I have to... Uh, Chris? <laughs> You're objecting to that slave bracelet. Buy one for all my friends. I used to wear two or three of them myself around my ankle in the old days. Everybody wears them. Must share, please. I'm bored hearing about the Stone Age. That's where these rocks came from, lover, and don't forget it. Darling, uh, give Lily a shot for her bronchitis, huh? Of course, Miss Frayne. See, uh, see air. I don't know why I live here. Well, I thought you liked the beach, Miss Frayne. You, darling, I do. But it's so boring. Nothing to do, night or day, but go to bed. Why don't you make another picture, Miss Frayne? I thought you were great in Salambo. Lubitsch did too, darling. Lubitsch did too. We were giants in those days. Now you could put the whole bunch under a card table and nobody'd muss a hair. Did you ever see me in Salambo, darling? Sorry, I wasn't born then. Well, I was only 11 myself. They called me Little Lily Frey. I was the first child star ever to be chased around a desk. Chris, please, let me explain. I told you I was willing to listen to what you had to say. That's Vanessa. why I'm here. It's been ages, darling. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. You remember Peppy? We played foursies, tennis. He's the boy with the marvelous chop. Oh, yes. Chunk. And, uh, who was this? I don't think I've seen him before. Or have you been hiding him on purpose? This is Mr. Farley, Miss Frayne. You must be in pictures. Or you should be. I've had a couple of lines and done some extra work, but I don't think I have the talent for this 24-hour acting bit that seems to go on around here. My dear boy, one does need a little talent in this business, but, uh, not necessarily for acting. <sighs> we are late. I don't want to lose the table. Chris, do you mind telling the head waiter we're here? Not at all. How exciting for you, Angel. He's a little rude, but so virile. Some people are just rude, period. You pay the man more share. Life can be so boring. I adore the clean-limbed American type, too. Somehow, I always end up with veal scallopini and sideburns. Leaping to conclusions again, Lily? What else is there to leap at, except men? One keeps me in condition for the other. Oh, but Chris is quite independent. I mean, he's taking care of my beach house, but uh, he also works at studios. My dear, that's a mistake. Never let them have a career. That's the one thing I've really learned about men in Hollywood. Success goes to their little heads. One morning, they're off with the car and their gold cufflinks in your heart, and that's that. Keep them sharecropping, dear. It's the only way. Tote that barge, lift that bale. But uh, if he's not taking care of your cottage, as you like, send him over to me. I have a little property, too. Your table's ready. Chris, wait! Bully vous all that in here, my Told you not to talk that phony French. So you're calling me an old cow, which you probably are. Your table's ready, Miss Frayne. This way, please. Chris. Chris, I, I, I'm sorry that you had to hear all that nonsense. Lily is an idiot, but why blame me for what she says? I'm not blaming anybody for anything except myself. And anyway, it wasn't just what she said. What then? Do you want me to be like that pet seal your friend was showing off in the bar tonight? Well, Chris, that's not fair. You've got your way of looking at things, and I've got mine. What do you mean? I mean that I wasn't on to this deal. I thought you wanted a man to take care of the place, not you. Oh, but, Chris, I, I don't understand you when you get so angry. I'm not angry, at least not with you. I, I'm grateful to you, as a matter of fact. 
for everything, everything you've done, everything you tried to do. I know it hasn't all been beer and pretzels for you either. I, I don't housebreak easily. Chris, Chris, darling. You've given me something that a guy like me might never have found knocking around the way I have. And it was wonderful. That is until I woke up and realized how wrong we were. But don't you realize it was wonderful for me, too? You and I, we can never have any real relationship. You're Vanessa Windsor, the big movie star, and I'm just the guy that everyone in town's gonna say you're keeping. Well, what does it matter what people say? It matters to me, because I've got to look at myself in the mirror every morning. That's why I'm checking out of here while I've still got my self-respect what's left of it. So, you're walking out, are you? That's right. Because if I stayed around here, it wouldn't be very long before I'd be just like that peppy. And around the same time, I might start thinking maybe you were just like Lily Frayne. Chris! What are we trying to do to one another? I know I've been wrong. And it could have turned out the way you said, with two other people, but not with us. Nothing can change the way we feel to one another. Vanessa. Oh, Chris, I need you. I need you desperately. Hi. Hi. This place is locked up like a vault. I got so hungry, I almost broke a window in in my desperation. Wouldn't have done you much good. The uh, cupboard was bare. I had to go to the market myself. Oh. Company for dinner? Not that I know of. Well, perhaps I'll stay if you coax me. Or will I? If it's your employee, you'd want me to disappear? Employers have keys, remember? That's right. Hey, Buenos dias and all that. Come on in. Hey, this is something like. Who did your decorating, Chris? Oh, I'm not a permanent piece. I'm just on loan. Hank uh, Galvez, this is, um... Uh, oh, my name's Penny. No. And me, an old coin collector from way back. Uh, this is a very rare issue, Sonny. And in mint condition at that. Don't take Hank too seriously. He gets his gift of gab from his Irish mother. Take me seriously, or better still, take me. Hank, uh, what are you drinking? Well, I was on the wagon, but uh, uh, aqua vit, what's that? It means uh, the water of life. That's for me. <laughs> well, with all these distractions, I don't know if you've had a chance to concentrate on the script. Yeah, I, I read it. Water of life, are you kidding? This will kill me. You get used to it. Well, what about the story? Well, it's, uh, it's not bad, Hank, not bad at all, but... Well, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get away. What do you mean, get away? What's to hold you? Well, uh, personal considerations, you know. Does he mean you, honey? Oh, I don't think so. Do you? It's just that... Things have changed since I talked to you, Hank. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, there's quite a change from that bungalow court you were racked up in and uh, this little teepee. But just remember, whatever games you're playing in your off hours aren't worth turning this chance down. Maybe I don't have as good an opinion of your little quickie as you do. And, uh, anyway, just because I don't want to act in it doesn't mean... Act? I... Who said you could act? You couldn't act your way out of a traffic ticket. I just want you around to flex your muscles and grunt. Maybe I'm not... Uh... Flexing this week. Hey, look, buddy, you got a soft touch here, but you need a soft touch like I need a hole in the head. And you got to get out and work for it. When you get down to Mexico, that's just what I'm going to do with you. You seem awfully sure I'm going. Shake a camera and a loincloth in front of you, and I'll have you paddling down to Acapulco in your water wings. Now, lay off, Hank. It's, it's too hot for that much self-confidence. Let's, uh, let's kick it around some other time. OK. OK, Cookie, I'm sorry. No offense. That's all I do anyway, influence friends and make people. But just remember, you can't escape your destiny, and this ain't it. 
Is it, pal? Say, uh, work on it for me and I'll give you 10% of Chris. Well, I think I'll work on 100% of Chris. Now you're talking. Okay, you're in. Adios, amigo. Keep in touch. Oh, uh, I do mean the two of you. Well, there's nothing like an old buddy for an unvarnished opinion. Well, I don't blame you for not wanting to leave here. I think it's a very charming house. And whoever owns it is uh, equally charming. I don't imagine much is demanded of you. Anyway, whatever it is, I'm sure you're doing it for someone you're very fond of. Or for someone who pays the bill, huh? Look, honey, I don't know what kind of ideas you've got in the back of that pretty little head of yours, oh, but... Oh, uh, I don't think I ever concealed my main idea. It's just that that, uh, that deal Hank is offering me, it's... It isn't very good, practically. No money and... Well, I said I didn't blame you. Anyway, if you have a soft touch here, I think that's fine. As I indicated before, I think you're a very good-looking young man. If I had money, I... <laughs> I wouldn't mind paying a bill or two for you myself. But being broke, I guess you'll just have to put me on the free list. <laughs> I know you want to. I've known it from the first moment I stepped into this house. Didn't you? I'd pay any amount of bills for you. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something else? The other night, uh, when I was here, I, I took a little souvenir by accident. This belongs to your employer. I was a little fuzzy the other night, or I would have realized sooner by the initials B.W. You realized what? Well. Your, uh, your employer, she's, she's very close to me. She's my mother and I'm Penny Winter. <laughs> and I'm gonna run right home and tell mother what a passionate little friend she has here. Keeps it in the family, too, don't you think? Get, get your phone! Get your phone up! Stop treating me like a child! Listen to me, I didn't ask you down here. I don't know what your game is, but you're gonna keep your mouth shut about it. Oh, sure, keep my mouth shut or you might lose your meal ticket. And that'd be disastrous, wouldn't it? I'm thinking about Vanessa. This was a put-up job and you know it. Oh, well, don't worry your little heart about Vanessa. You think you're her first little friend? You're just one of a long line that she's picked up and dropped at her convenience, including me. <laughs> we kept out of sight. She's forgotten all about me. She doesn't even remember me hardly. She put me in school because I was too old and I might destroy the illusion of the great Vanessa Windsor. Well, I'm just as phony as you are. I'm not even a real Windsor. Don't think she hasn't let me know it either. I'm going to destroy a few of her illusions. And not you or anybody else is going to stop me. Now, wait a minute. Oh, let me go. Stop. Come here. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop.
Mother? <laughs> Go away. What's wrong? What is it? Are you sick? No. I can't tell you. But what is it? Oh, Penny. I've been such a fool. I've got to talk to someone. I lose my mind. I've never seen you like this. You don't know what it's like to love someone and know he's got someone else. What? He's got another woman. I was there tonight. He didn't know I was coming. He was asleep. But I could see where she'd been. There were the cigarettes and where they had dinner. And, oh, Penny, I love him so. I know he's younger and... And he's not faithful, but I don't care. I love him. I love him. I can't let him go. <laughs> oh, don't cry. Don't cry. Oh, good morning, Mr. Farley. Good morning. Chris, you sounded so urgent on the phone. What's the matter? I'm sorry. I, I had to see you right away. I oh. hope you don't mind my coming here. No, no. Sit down. Uh, is there something wrong? Well, not exactly. It's just that... I, um... Uh, I had an offer to do a picture in Mexico. I'm going to take it. Well, how long will you be gone? I I don't know. I, I might stay down there for a while after the picture is finished. I, I think it's time I did something about my life. Yeah, sure. I, I understand. After all, you have standards. And uh, if two people love one another, as, as we do, there's only one solution before they can be happy. That is real happy. You know, you're right. You are right. We have to get married. It's as simple as that. Married? Yes. yes you, you're right about Mexico, too. You've got to uh, establish yourself. I mean, as for us, goodness knows, we've weathered our differences, and it's High time that uh, we legalized the situation. Vanessa, look. When did you say you have to go to Mexico? In a few days. Well, that's, that's wonderful. Because then I'll be through with my picture and I'll join you there and we'll get married. And we'll have a Mexican honeymoon. Doesn't that sound divine? Yeah, but look. Oh, I've got that... to call the papers. This story, I think, should go to to Hedda. Miss Helm, uh, get me Hedda Harper. Oh, this is going to be wonderful for your career. There'll be acres of publicity. And, you know, I haven't been married since... Well, it's been a long time. There's something I forgot. There's someone you must meet who must be the, the very first to know. Come on. Oh, Penny, darling. Here's someone I'm very anxious for you to meet. Uh, Chris Farley. This is my wonderful daughter, Penny. I wanted you to I... get together for a long time. But now, since we're going to be a family... <laughs> family? Yes. Chris and I are going to be married. What? I want you two to love one another as much as I love both of you. I'm, I'm sorry. Thank you, Miss Helm. Hedda? Darling, I have the most important announcement of my life to make. Yes, it is romance. Oh, thank you.
I couldn't go through with it. Something changed things. Believe me, it's better this way. Why did you come here? I don't know. I just couldn't stay away. Didn't you find my note? Mm-hmm. I did, but it didn't say much, not really. You see, I know why you left. I've known ever since it happened. You've known? Everything. Except who she was. And I hope I... I never know that. See, if I had known you'd run away, I, I would have told you. Because it doesn't matter. What do you mean, doesn't matter? Well, I mean, it doesn't matter as much as, as, as you leaving me. Look, it's no use. Well, maybe you had a reason. <laughs> maybe you, you did it for no reason at all. Those things happen sometimes. I mean, maybe it was just some attractive little tramp. No, not a tramp. You mean you've known her before? I've only seen her a couple of times. Nothing, nothing really happened. She's not a tramp. You, you're not in love with her, are you? I, I don't know. Maybe. If we'd met differently, I, I would have fallen for her. You mean, if it hadn't been for me? Oh, look. Look, can a guy be in, in love with two women at the same time? No. No, when, when these things happen, sooner or later you find out one of these two loves is the real love. And the other just infatuation or sex. Well, you and I, we know this isn't real love. It's what you might call delusion. My love for you is real. And the feeling we have for one another is real. It doesn't matter what happened. It's what's going to happen that matters. Oh, Chris. Chris. There's no use trying to escape it. There'll never be any other woman in your life but me. I'll see to that. Just you and me. And Penny, of course. You and me. Just talk to her. She's going to make the wedding announcement tonight after they finish. I didn't mean for this to happen, Chris. I didn't mean to fall in love with you either, but I did. And it's helped. Last week, I was just a rebellious kid trying to find out about life. Now, all of a sudden, I'm growing up. And I must say, Kind of miserable. Are you in love with her? Or is she just going to have everything her way as usual? Last night when she came home, she. she was different. I've never seen her like that before. 
Parker really thinks she does love you. It's probably about the first time she's ever loved anybody but herself. And I don't know how you feel, Chris, and I've got to know I can't go on like this. Honey, you know her. <laughs> no, I yes, don't. Yes, you do. Look, it's just that when I'm with her, I can't explain to her that... How affecting. Vanessa's introduced you two at last, hmm? Hello, Joe. Evening, Miss Frayne. Uh, could I have a couple of hot dogs for Oubliette here with plenty of mustard and a hot pastrami for Francois? And a very large dill pickle for me. Coming up, Miss Frayne. Je vais descendre. I've uh, been looking for you, darling. I want to have a little chat. Uh, perhaps I should have made an appointment. I was just leaving. You do play with fire, don't you, lover? Personally, I like a young man with initiative. I get so bored with these local, sunburned, pseudo viral types. Get a girl all confused and leave her that way. But that's not the purpose of my little visit. I want to make a date with you. A date? Why don't we have cocktails tomorrow and talk everything over? I haven't got anything to talk to you about. I uh, can raise the ante. Marriage alone isn't the top bin. What are you talking about? I read Hedda's column tonight. I must admit, you're a little smarter than I thought you were. But I'm realistic. I uh, grant that there are certain charms in this deal. But I'd be a lot more understanding with Vanessa. And you would need a lot of understanding. Wouldn't you, dear? Miss Frayne, why don't you crawl back into the woodwork? I beg your pardon. I accept the apology and, uh, thanks. Thank you several times. This wave should be separated a little more, don't you, Dick? Well, Chris, you're early. Is Benny with you? No. I, uh, I want to talk to you alone. Oh? Well, we're all through anyhow. Thank you. Vanessa, why do you want to marry me? Why? What a question. You know perfectly well why. No, I don't know. You've been asking all the questions and giving all the answers. I've never really had a chance with you to talk or think. You asked me to marry you. I guess that's the Windsor technique. Well, it's not mine. When I get married, I'm going to do the asking, and I'm going to be able to support my wife. It's not going to be the other way around. But, Shut up and let me finish. Being married to you, Vanessa, would only mean that I'd be a legalized gigolo, a, a prize cocker spaniel like that, that guy Lily Frayne has. Something that you could show up and get a blue ribbon for. Yeah, well, thanks a lot, Vanessa, but I'm not having it. Where are you going? I don't know exactly. But wherever it is, it'll be someplace where I'm a human being and not just a ornament for somebody's Christmas tree. Chris. Chris. Lover's quarrel, dear? Domestic contretemps? Penny, go after him and bring him back. Huh? No matter how, but bring him back. It won't work. You made the one fatal mistake. You let him know you really loved him. I would have handled it quite differently. Mother, you can't chase after him. What else can I do? Chris isn't in love with you. What do you know about love? He's in love with me. Today's not the first day I've seen him. I was the one at your little hideout last night. They're ready for you on the set.
Vanessa Windsor. She's still the greatest. Drunk again. Oh, hi, Vanessa. You know the business in this shot. You start across the bridge, Phil comes after you, catches you, you struggle, and then we have your double take the fall. Oh, Myrna. Uh -huh. We'll move in with the crane for a close shot of Miss Windsor and Phil struggling. Then we'll cut, pull back, you replace her and take the fall in the long shot. Got it? Uh-huh. This is a very dangerous shot now. I want you to be careful, huh? It's real good to be working with you again, Miss Windsor. All right, let's try a rehearsal. Al. Hmm? No rehearsal. Just, just shoot it. All right, this will be a take. Okay, take it away. Hold it down, folks. Okay, quiet on the set, please. Are you all set up there? Doctor, how is she? She'll be all right after she sleeps. You can go in for a moment if she wants to see you. Mother? That was a scene, wasn't it? Oh, I was so frightened. I saw you go under twice, and I was afraid you weren't coming up. So was I. You know, your whole life flashes in front of you when you are drowning. I remembered things that I haven't thought of since I was three. <laughs> Got a cigarette? What about the doctor? Oh, he hasn't said no. Thank you. You know, I'm a little ashamed of myself. I don't think I've been quite fair to either of you. See, all my life, in order to get things, I had to be, well, let's call it determined. And sometimes, just because one is determined, one clings to the things that are really over. Whatever was between Chris and myself is finished. 
Maybe it never even began. But it's hard for me to give up anything. People grow up at different ages. I'm sort of a delayed case. You do understand what I'm trying to say, don't you? Yes. I'm sorry you'll have to leave now. Miss Windsor must get her rest. I'll come back in the morning, Mother. Have a nice night's rest. Good night, darling. Good night. Now, now, Miss Windsor, none of that. You don't know how near we came to losing you. My, I had no idea acting took so much out of a person. All that hustle and bustle and that water business. I'd never do it. Then again, maybe I would, if I had such a nice kid as you have. Mm. I guess that's what we do it for, after all, isn't it? The kids. Yeah. That's what we do it for. The kids. Miss Windsor, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... Well, I've always felt that you were a much better actress than the roles they gave you. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Because <laughs> the one great thing you have on the screen is believability. Believability. Oh, I hope so. I certainly hope so. I wasn't convinced. Chris, you're back. It was a nice try. But you didn't sell me. What? What are you talking about? Well, Vanessa. You know something? Uh, you're quite a gal. Uh, makes me happy just to hear you say that. I... I wish I could... You and I... It wouldn't have worked anyway. You better go now. I have to have my rest. Good night, Vanessa. Good night, Chris. <laughs> 